Hey, brother Richard, how you doing? Uh, very good. Yourself? All right. So I'm just gonna um, ask you a few questions, man, because uh, I know you 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 about ready for this fight, man. That's right. Uh, yeah. When you first got to the U.S., bro, uh, can you talk to me about like the training? Because I know it's not just hitting the, the bags, you know, right. the nutritional uh, improvements, and and then you had to do more physical, you know, uh, training. Yeah. It's, it's, it's totally different thing all together because you know back home in ghana you don't really have the strength and conditional trainer when you're training when you had hard, hard you just train hard you know what i mean in the u.s everything there's time for you to push there's time for you to relax and you do different things not only just boxing for example in, in ghana or in africa most guys who are not upcoming they only go into the gym punching bikes and just run and you know what i mean there's more to that you know what i mean the mm. sports develop more than just running sometimes you might run 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 and when you get to the fight your legs are tired you can't do anything you know what i mean so moving to the u.s the, the improvement in the way they train has really really improved me as a person and in terms of uh, the knowledge about boxing has very has grown mm. um you know your, your last few fights man um what did you what was the most positive thing you got or like your your conditioning what, what, what's something you noticed did you notice that you were stronger faster or um well actually i work with um uh, with my um with my condition at scooter is very good so you know what i mean my last fight i do 12 rounds without even 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 my last fight with loma even though i lost but I did 12 rounds without even taking water. So I'm like, shit, my condition is good because of the way it brings me, you know what I mean? Mm. We, we train different, like we do different kind of things, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So you, you, you at 140 now with Pedraza, uh, you, you feel much stronger? Do you feel much stronger? Well, I, I'm, 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 I wouldn't know until the night of the fight. Uh -huh. but, uh, I've been doing this way, like I can. I always push myself to make sure, like you know, what I mean, I'm 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 right in shape. I'm right at where I need to be. So we'll see. This is my first time, so we we'll see when we get into the ring. I see how I feel. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, as far as like you know, leading up, you didn't have to worry too much about cutting. Uh, we like cutting yeah. weight. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. So you yeah. feel better, huh? Yeah, I feel a little bit better. Okay. That's good, bro. And, and I know I heard you was sparring a guy named um, you, uh, Caesar Francis. Have you you, you sparred this guy? <laughs> yeah, Caesar Francis is my guy, man. How, how's that? How's that sparring going? How's that work going? Oh, you know what I mean. They always, you know what I mean. We sparring is always good, always learning. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean. He, he he always give me that respect, and he know what you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. it's good. We all learn from each other, and that's it. Uh, is is he taller? Is he taller than you? Yeah, he's much taller than me. He's about oh. six. Oh, okay. So, was, do you think that was y'all using that as like some kind of a comparison with? Because Pedraza is a little tall, isn't he? Like five ten, oh, maybe. Like almost about my height. Oh, same height. Okay. Same height, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I've been sparring different guys, big guys, short guys, small guys. Like it doesn't really matter. You just need to work in. You know what I mean? We 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 improve every day and we learn every day. So, mm -hmm. just this is another step for me to improve on what I've been working out in the gym, and hopefully I might bring it the game plan hopefully i might bring it to the fight uh saturday and then we'll see oh so what, what kind hey man let me ask you a few more but i won't keep you too long i know you just chilling man right now but what, 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 what's your favorite food you've been eating lately man what you've been eating man in, in oh, the... don't wait sometimes you're not allowed to eat certain things so you just mm -hmm. wait you finish the way then uh, you know what i mean i'm getting i'm gonna get some uh, Ghanaian food <laughs> yeah, okay very good so <laughs> yeah i hear that good yeah uh, up to this point what do you think your most difficult fight your fight has been up to this point um what would you say i think it might be low man mm. Lake and he's just the angles too much you know what i mean Mm. But okay, let me last question, man. What did you learn about? What did you learn in that fight? What was something you 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 learned about yourself in that in that fight? Yeah, you know, it's hard to put it's hard to put it, but it's mm. hard to say. But uh, 
it just it just it's always focus i don't have to really let, you know fighting a guy like loma if you lose more focus then he's gonna let you pay for it mm. yeah oh, okay yeah uh, man, but you know, uh, man, people still, man, you got a reputation of uh, that, them heavy hands, bro. So that's, hey, it don't, no matter what fight you go into, bro, hey, people are worried about that power, man. So, uh, I mean, this is yeah. what, so hopefully, hopefully, I put, hopefully, uh, uh, like it, it, it gives me results Saturday, man.